Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can introduce an appointment booking system into your website built on Elementor. So as you can see here, I have an Elementor page pulled up. It is very basic um, and it's just going to be for demo purposes for this video. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I want to do is head over to my WordPress dashboard and from here I'm going to head over to the plugins page. And the first thing I want to do is click add new and I'm going to search up simply and we're going to go ahead and install simply schedule appointments this is a wordpress booking plugin and it'll allow you to create a booking system specifically for your wordpress website um, and you'll see our mascot foxy in the icon so we're going to go ahead and install it and when it's done loading we'll activate it Perfect, so this is a free WordPress booking plugin. Of course, there are upgrades that if you need additional features and functionality, but in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to use a free one. So after installing and activating, you will now see a new appointments tab on the left-hand sidebar. If you go ahead and click it, and this is your first time opening it, you will be greeted with our setup wizard. This is gonna walk you through creating your very first booking calendar for your website. So we'll go ahead and just click, yes, help me please. Um, so we can get started. So first things first, it's going to um, pick up on a few of the general settings. So your time zone, the format, preferred format, and um, date format as well. And again, you can change all of these later in the plugin. Um, it's just going to ask you if you're okay with these, and if not, you can adjust them. Looks good. Let's go. And then this is the appointment type setup. And again, an appointment type is just the rules that you'd like to apply to your booking calendar. This pretty much represents a booking calendar. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you can fill in the name for your appointment type, how long you'd like each booking to last, and you can change the label color. And this is only for admin organizational purposes, but you can choose that here as well. We have a booking view and whether you'd like users to see the calendar and availability on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis. I'm going to switch over to monthly and then you can add in a few instructions here. For example, um, we have I'll call you or, or we'll meet you at your office, but you can place anything here and we'll go ahead and click continue. So now that we've done the basics, we can move on to the availability settings. We have the option to do available blocks or specific start times. Available blocks will be able to fit in an appointment anywhere it sees fit, whereas specific start times will strictly stick to the times that you've chosen with the little radio buttons. You can also choose the interval time. So if I want it to start every 60 minutes or as low as every 10 minutes. And lastly, we do have a pretty nifty availability table editor. You can use the pencil tool to drag and choose the time slots that you're available and then the eraser tool to delete them. And if you need a larger time frame, you can always use these plus little icons on the left hand side to expand up to 24 hours. Alrighty, so let's just say I'm happy with this availability and we can click continue. And next thing on the list is the scheduling option. So this just gets a little bit more detailed in terms of the rules that you want to apply to your booking calendar. For example, if this is a booking calendar that is going to be used users all over the world, you can use the localized appointment time zone and that will show the time slots in their own time zone. Or if you have a set location where you want to meet users and your clients, you can use the lock time zone and that will force them to see the time slots in your own time zone. We also have appointment buffers so you can set some time before and after each appointment to either clean up or set up any materials or give yourself time in between appointments. We also have a notice required this is to help you prevent any last minute bookings. Um, by default, always set to one day, but you can set this to as little or as long as you need. And then lastly on this page, we have the per day limit. So let's say you only want to take a max of two appointments per day. You can set that here. This is going to cover the customer information. will allow you to choose any additional fields that you'd like to collect from your users whenever they book an appointment. By default, we need to collect the name and email there's no way to remove these. Um, it's just necessary for the plugin to work. Um, but you can select the phone number and set it as required. You can select city, notes. If you'd like to use custom customer information fields, you would need to upgrade to one of our premium editions that would allow you to set the fields to anything you like and choose from a variety of field types. For example, you can have a checkbox or radio buttons or a multi-line field. Anyway, let's continue. I'll just leave it as is. And lastly, it's going to ask you to review it. So go ahead and 
give a quick glance at the availability and this is going to be the booking info. If you'd like to embed the booking calendars using a short code, you can collect that from here. So this is our general short code. You can copy and paste this into any page. And then this is the specific short code for this booking calendar. So we'll go ahead and click continue. We don't need to collect this since we're going to use Elementor to embed our calendar. So let's continue and it's going to congratulate you. You're all set up. Now let's have a quick overview of the SSA dashboard. This is the appointments page. This is where you'll get an overview of all your upcoming appointments as well as your past appointments or you could also use the state range filter view. You can book an appointment from here or you can use some additional filters to find any specific bookings that you're interested in. Next, we have the appointment types page. This is going to list all of your booking calendars and you can click on any of the appointment types in this list and you'll be able to go back and edit any of the settings. Next, we have the settings page. This is where you can enable any other features that you're interested in. Um, some of these are for the free edition. Some are only available in the plus. We have pro and then we have the business edition that includes a team booking feature. Um, but let's get a quick overview of all the ones here. So we have the general settings. Um, if you remember in our setup wizard, this is where we set up um, the time zone, date, time formats. And then we also have some additional ones down here like the business name and then the admin email. So you can always go back here and change those settings. We have styles um, and this is going to be the general or default styling for the booking calendars. Um, as you'll see, we'll be able to change the styles and fonts for specific booking calendars on specific pages. Um, but again, this is going to be just the general one. We do have translation packs that you can use with the plugin. Some of our most popular ones are German, French, Spanish. Next, we have the advanced scheduling options. Um, this is going to enable a few more settings if you toggle this on in our appointment type uh, editor. And then this is going to give each one of our appointment types independent availability. Um, right now, by default, each booking calendar is dependent on each other. So let's say my consultation phone call gets booked at 9 a.m. Now, if I had a different booking calendar, that one would also be blocked off at 9 a.m. But using this setting right here, you would be able to make them independent of each other. So you can have two bookings at the same time between two different calendars. And lastly, we have the notifications. By default, it comes with four different notifications, two for the admin and two for the customer. Um, one set is for when appointment is booked. So right as the appointment is submitted, we'll send a confirmation email. And if somebody decides to cancel an appointment, we would send out the following two emails. And we also have this blackout dates feature in case you feel like uh, you need to take a vacation off. You don't want to accept any appointments for a specific day. For example, we can block off the following week in September um, just by selecting them. So all the orange highlighted dates um, will be com completely blocked off from any appointments. And lastly, we have the support tab. So under the support tab, you'll find a bunch of different diagnostic information as well as the debugger log down here. Um, this is a great way to get in contact with us at Simply Schedule Appointments. You would just simply have to select that button and it will open up a contact form where you can include your message. Um, you can find helpful guides that might be relevant to you. For example, if I type in email, We'll have a list of email delivery issue guides that you could browse and see if that might help. And when you're done, you can simply send us a message. Alrighty, so let's get to embedding our booking calendars into an Elementor page. So let's go back to the WordPress dashboard and head over to our Elementor page. So here we are. I'd like to add it to this section right above my maps. So let's open up the Elementor editor. Now let's scroll down and I want to put it in between these two sections. So let me go ahead and add a new section and I'm fine with just having a single column. So after my section is created, I can head on over to my widget or module um, listing page and I can look up the word appointment. Okay, perfect. So these are two new widgets provided by Simply Schedule Appointments. So once you've installed activated the plugin, these are now available from Elementor. This one, the upcoming appointments module is useful when you have users that are logged in and booking appointments with you. They'll be able to see an overview listing of all the appointments that they have coming up. And then next we have the schedule and appointment module. And this is what's actually going to embed a booking calendar onto our Elementor page. Let's drag and drop this into place to get started.
So here we have the content area. This is where you'll be able to select which appointment type you'd like to display on the page, or you could choose to display all of them. If you have more than one, you'll see the appointment types listed. Whereas um, when you just have a single one, you'll have it displayed like this. Now we also have a styles tab. This is where you can override the style settings for the um, appointment type calendar. For example, if I want to change the accent color right now, it's still just the default green. Um, let's go ahead and choose um, a blue. So now if I go ahead and change it to blue, now when I hover over the dates or a few other places where we incorporate that little accent color, uh, you'll see the blue. So you can match that to whatever brand colors you guys have. And then you also have the background color in case the background of your website is a different color from white. Um, for example, we can change it to red and you'll see how that looks just change it back and you can also change the fonts as well as the padding um, and then you also have all the regular um, advanced settings that come with most elementor widgets for example you have motion effects you have transforming it you can change the background from here as well um, we have borders mass responsiveness etc so let's go ahead and update it and let's keep it with this blue color so now if we scroll down to our booking calendar, you'll see that we have the blue accent color. Last but not least, let's book a test appointment and show you how this will work. Okay, perfect. So now that I'm done filling out my, my booking form, let's book this appointment using this button. And then when they're done, it'll say, thank you, your appointment is booked. Here's the time frame for my appointment all the fields that I just filled in and I have the option to save it to either Google Calendar or other from here. Um, we do have a Google Calendar integration available in the paid versions that automatically sends a Google invite if you choose to, but here they'll be able to manually add that to their agendas um, as well as do a few other actions. For example, if they see, oh, I misspelled my name wrong, um, they can edit the information from there. If they need to reschedule, they can cancel this appointment or they can schedule a brand new one. So if I click schedule a new appointment, it'll take me right back to the booking calendar just as I had found it. So now that I have an appointment booked, let's see how you would be able to manage this. So going back to your WordPress dashboard and heading over to the appointments page, you'll see I have my new appointment here for Natalie and it'll say the, the type of appointment that it is. So we have consultation phone call as well as the day and time for it. So now if I view my appointment details page, I'll have a list of all the answers that they've placed in their booking form, as well as a few other pieces of information. Um, for example, what page they booked it on. So in case you have that same booking calendar across your website, you can always check the appointment details page to see exactly which page they booked from. In this case, it's just my homepage. We also have the status of the booking, when this booking was created and when it was last modified. For example, if they go back into edit the information, and last, we have the reschedule and cancel link. You can copy this and send that over to them in case they're asking for it. The admins also have the option to cancel, edit, or delete from this page separately. So if I'd like to cancel, this is what I'll show you. You can keep it. Um, you can edit as a customer. This is essentially what they'll see when they follow that reschedule cancel link, but you can edit their information from here, reschedule or cancel the appointment from here as well. And then we have lastly, the delete option. Um, the delete option is if you just want to completely get rid of the appointment and not send any confirmation to your client or your customer. Let me just give you one last overview of the notifications just so you can see what that looks like. Um, our notifications draw information from the appointment itself. So in this case, here's the subject, here's my message. Now I can view a live preview. So this is a person that just booked an appointment um, and this is going to be what they see in their inbox. As you can see, it draws in the information and has the reschedule link automatically embedded here. And again, you guys can always go back and edit this information, um, edit who it goes to. And also you can specifically tie it to particular appointment types in case you start making more. So with that said, I hope this was helpful. This is a basic overview of how you can get started with a a free appointment booking system for your Elementor built site, please feel free to contact our support team. We're always happy to answer any questions or provide you with any demos if you would like to see one. Thanks again, and I hope you guys have a great day.